just it will take a minute. I've been talking a bit. Any questions or comments by anybody? Yes. Well, I used the tally for the uh, Kentucky Pioneers, and I know everyone hated them because they're aggressive. But let's keep in mind: first, they were a church <laughs> softball team, and secondly, they were all left-handed, yes. of which it only took 40 feet to put them on the fence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we, a lot of people forget we changed the field because of that. Yeah. Right. Well, and that was well within our and means, and fine, you know. you needed to. Right. <laughs> but Thanks. They were actually, very nice people. Oh, fine people. <laughs> well, yeah, sure they were, sure they were. Sure well, competition's a part of our lives. <laughs> competition is, of course, is a part of our lives. What are you going to take? Oh, are we not men? Are we not men? We grew up playing games. You played video games, you played Stratego, or, you know, Stratego, or Stratomatic, or Apple Baseball, or, you know, whatever in the backyard. So, you know, it's a challenge not to be competitive, of course. Uh, the third cup brought that competition brew to a climax because one uh, quote I saw about competition is, uh, competition is the spice of sports, but if you have too much spice, you get sick. <laughs> and so, so th in the third cup, there was open uh, bickering, nothing too serious. Uh, but there was, a, there was bickering, there were some bad feelings, there were some things like that. So, so that was, by the third cup, John Wells decided we're going to change the format and make it a festival. I sort of, I said that wrong, it was the second cup where things got bad. So before the third cup, it was decided by a few people, probably in a random situation, Let's make it into a festival where you play 50-minute games starting on the hour and you bring in a lot of clubs. You put on the emphasis on getting to know the other clubs, being nice to the other clubs, showing the other clubs. Of course, realistic, as has happened until today, probably, clubs are keeping track of their record and it's sort of going around. Now it's probably being texted around, you know, to, well, the, the uh, not that the the grinders would do this. You know, well, the grinders are four and one, and you know, and all that's fine. But anyway, in the, in the third cup, it was, it was the first time it was a festival. And uh, we, we tried to keep adding, as happens now, we tried to add things on the sidelines, right? And you know some things that have been added on the sidelines or to present to the public, as well as baseball. And volunteers have done great things. Uh, I hate to single people out, although some of them aren't here today, of course. But, I mean, I hate to forget anybody. And all, you know, lot, you've done things the last five years. Who played, who's played in one Ohio Cup? Right, right. And that's the reason, you know, if somebody was to say, well, how has the Ohio Cup lasted this long? Well, it's because volunteers, people have done so incredibly much. Tracy Martin brings his, has been bringing his collection for a long time. He brought in the, big, the former big leaguers. Uh, Charlie, early on, we tried to have people on the sidelines. The first maker of the leather ball, J.R. Ferguson from Louisville, I believe, would be on the sidelines showing people, but not revealing too many secrets. Because, of course, he did sell them for nice prices and stuff. So tried to have things on the sidelines. Uh, that helps. That goes on today. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Martin and Schumann, Andy Schumann and Tracy Martin, but they do who's on first and do it very well. And so that was done. So you know that it, and otherwise, it's a festival in name only. Yes, Dennis. Do you remember the early thinking about why that switch from Memorial Day weekend to Labor Day weekend? Well, I, I, I like other folks, uh, are thinking how that made sense, but, uh, I wasn't a part of why that was done, but doesn't that benefit us greatly? Gives people an extra day. Otherwise, how could they drive long distances or get away? Any comments on that or anybody remember? Dale? Oh. Well, we've had some rain. And we've never played on Labor Day. Excuse me, Marilyn. So, Dale, are you saying that in case there was rain, we could play on Monday? No, I didn't say it. Okay. We thought yeah. that, or 
But yeah. The thinking was that Labor Day weekend would be better weather. Remember the two first oh, thank you. Yeah. Right, I see. Right, more rain in. Right, more rain in the springtime. I see what you're saying. Exactly. So, thanks. So, th and you can think of other things that we've we've tried to do in the past. Um, the the soiree or dance. We always fed people in some way. I believe at the first cup there was cold cuts. Um, then. Uh, the society provided various things. And eventually, you know, the thinking was, well, people are just, let's get people together after the last match on Saturday night so they can talk and have fun and so forth. So we did, for a few years, a soiree, which involves dancing and some people wore period outfit. And, uh, you know, they, again, you know, of course, volunteers provided the bulk of the work or the pro, of, the, of the food or the program would buy the meat. And that worked for quite a while. But like most things, that it ran its course. Because people, you know, things just change. So, and what I noticed at, this pa at the past one now, people still appreciate very much being fed. Very much. But they also pr appreciate having their Saturday night. And uh, it helps us, of course, that we're centrally located and people bring their families to the cup and they get to know people and so forth. Um, any, any other questions or comments? Don, you played in the, of course Don is the only member of the program that, well Don and Nick both played before 91 when there was a, there was a, 91 was an important year when a lot of new people came in. Yes, right, in 87. And Don, after, I, after the society let me go, which I did a lot of other things as well as the muffins, the volunteers really started to take a more, the, the uh, advisory group for a while was doing a lot more. And Don ran the Ohio Cup for a few years, and of course Jim has with the advisory group lately. Just a, I just think of a couple special things we did. One uh, one-time thing, uh, one early year, maybe the seventh or something, we had it. We planned for it. We had a picture taken um, of people. Of well, we tried to get everybody we could. You know, late on a Saturday, late on a Saturday afternoon, and we stood facing the big building down there in the outfield, on the uh, in the far outfield. And John Wells took a picture, and I hadn't seen that picture until I was looking through things last night, and I saw it in. A handbook we did and that was a nice effort of course the plans were maybe make a calendar out of it or but it's hard to implement everything in a volunteer program isn't it we've had some uh, significant visitors there was a fellow who came from Japan one year okay and he was a writer and didn't he enjoy it yeah and we put him in uniform of course, there were, uh, there were two guys named Patches and Stinky or something who came from Westfall Village in Georgia and uh, had a very fine time. We've played before Clipper games, some in connection with the Cup and so forth. But I think what's most important is, or right up there, um, through the work of you all and Andy Akers, who this is, I think this will be his 11th year of doing the schedule. There were 31 clubs last year. That's a lot of clubs, isn't it? And to know each other, and that helps us be who people go to, you know? Or if, if you can bring people together, you know, at work, you hear this about, or it's been, I think it's still a business practice. It got to be a business practice. Have social skills, <laughs> get along with people, make partnerships, make you know, make deals, and so they look to the muffins, and respect us hopefully for all that. So from my viewpoint, that's it for. But I would like if anybody has any thinking or a question, please go ahead. All right, and with the uh, with the approval sometime of the advisory group, I'll update this after I get input. But it's going to have to be, it might have to be <laughs> enlarged. <laughs> Charlie Trudeau, of course, did this bottom part. Okay. And what's, what's the last? You said it was 2004? Yeah, 2004 was the last, the 13th.
And what did it say? Just how many teams? Well, it says uh, 21 clubs at that time. Okay. And I thought to put on it uh, consecutive cups. At that, time, at that time, the Muffins, of course, had been at 13 in a row. The Frogs had been at all 13. The uh, Clod Busters and uh, Clod Busters, Diamonds, and Grinders had been at 12. But clubs come and go, of course. There's some that were only here one year, right? But I would like to... <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it.